Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey. And there's not much time left in Gouda Gouda 2. So today's video is going to be all about me grinding up some Gouda Gouda. With a team that hopefully works out. Um, this is the team I've been using, I'll show it off soon. But before I do that, I need to find a waiver who has the damage up 100%, otherwise I'm not going to be able to do anything. Come on. I need 100% um, attack raise on waiver. There's just no getting around the fact that I need that, so... The easier this game wants to give me that, the easier we can just start the video. Sometimes it's perfectly easy to find one, and then other times it's like, oh my god. No one needs you Merlin. I hate the fact that there's a Merlin that has it. It's really annoying, actually. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. No. No. Man. I need 100% up. No, why do you have it? <laughs> and this has basically been my entire experience with this um, node, is looking for a waiver with 100% is borderline impossible what i would not give for one hell i think mine has it oh, come on. wow i'm just not finding any none whatsoever come on one more again come on where's soul rock are you not online it's the only explanation i have for this garbage set of people who aren't running what I want them to. I guess I'll use this. Yeah, there's just no way around it. I need the extra one for the whole band. This is the team we've got. Ishtar for once actually doing something. Uh, the reason I need it is because otherwise I can't three turn it. Um, this node is super annoying because it has a giant robot man who likes to cast invisibility right away. So it's real bad. Because the game expects you to use wolves, um, you kind of need to constantly, uh, you need a lot of damage, basically. So you can either do what uh, most people do, which is, I assume, um, well, I'll just play. Sent. But yeah, this is how it starts. As everything, it starts with Waver using it. Next, I use that. Activate that for next turn. The man blows himself up. The other thing is that it's very annoying, is that, um, the the grind CE for this one specifically only gives 40% NP charge as opposed to 50%. Um, I don't know why, to be honest. I have no idea why. It's not good enough. Um, the effect is not good enough to deserve a 40% NP instead of 50%. If anything, I wish it had 50% NP because it would make everything so much easier. It'd give me less of a headache. So anyway, we use this right here. Powered up. The move we use with H card gives her 50% attack up. Use Manifestation of Beauty. Is that right there? Then we Razzle Dazzle. Hit him with everything we got. Ah, uh, you got this. Buster. Fly, man. Here she is looking at me. Going on here. I'm called, I have no idea what she just said there at the end. But everyone's dead, so that's very good. Um, now here's the part that's super annoying, and it's unfun in general to fight. You have to deal with these two dudes. It's this guy here, it's Babbage that's the, actually the issue. So let me see if I can... This is not going to be easy, so I need to get all that. The skill I used previously with um, Cha Cha, you see here, it gives her 10 MP. I believe this has to be level 10 for her to actually get 10. So that's the only way I'm able to get to function. There you go, I hit her with the defense down. Next one to that. Then, this is the part where. Boom! Bring in Quetz! Because even with 100% up, it's not enough to actually finish it off. So what I need is some charisma. Gives 20%, 23% I believe, and then this gives 30%? 
if I'm remembering correctly. Use this, see if I can get some to charge outside. Doesn't look like it worked. A little bit more attack. Alright. Let's see if we got this, Charcha. I'm gonna attack a little bit in the front and hope that that's enough to kill Babbage. But it seems unlikely. I need 100% more power. But either way, I'm, char I'm targeting him first. Um, because if I don't, then he's gonna use invisibility. And that turns a 4 turn clear into a 5 turn. It just wastes time. Nobody likes wasting time. In general. Wow! Okay, uh, never mind. I guess I don't need it. <laughs> I was like, I was a pause. What? That doesn't make any sense. In all my playtesting of this, this didn't work. That two minutes of me complaining about my team, I apologize to all my teammates, by the way. I'm an idiot, apparently. All the people on my friends list, I am so sorry. It turns out that this team could do it all along, and I was just being a baby for no reason. But I swear to God, in my playtesting, it didn't work out at all. I don't know what changed. Hmm. Maybe it was that a little bit of extra attack there at the end. I don't know. Let's get back into it. Let's see. Now that I don't have to worry about it. Boom. Simple. But yeah, it's a simple grind team. The reason I use Chacha is because she has 100% attack up. Um, so that's very key in destroying everything. Um, at least I think so. Plus, I like Chacha. She's a good girl. She's, a uh, funny. She's got berserker mentality. But not very high, so that just makes me think that she's just slightly insane. No more insane than, I guess, Nobu is. Nobunaga. <laughs> Everything seems to be working out perfectly fine now. I'm happy for it. I like it when a grind team kind of works together. I was using Kiara before, um... Switching to, um, I believe Chacha? Because I was Kiara first, but then Kiara just wasn't getting it done. Uh, it's not her fault. The only thing that buffs art to a degree of a high degree is <laughs> Tamamomo. And I don't like using Tamamomo. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Tamamo? Tamamo? Okay. Here's this here. She has that 50% up. She's making it great. There's a little bit of that there. Get some Cricket Stars. Uh, I, I really wanted her to do her upside down fall. She didn't do it though. Not her upside down fall, but she has a uh, percentage chance of falling over when you use her skills. Let's see if she does it the next time. Fly, mana. But yeah, the main, the, the, I like mana nodes that make it, that you can grind using the free-to-play ones, and it's pretty easy. I would say in terms of nodes, this one's a pretty easy one to just grind compared to a lot of other ones. For all the other ones up until this point, I was not using, um, I was using all the CEs to make it go faster, basically, because there was no way to quick, um, NP it without the wolves CE. Uh, let's see, okay. Give her this. Oh, she didn't do the upside down fall. Not the upside down fall, the whooper fall is what I call it. Okay, switch in four. Now, I'm actually gonna do this here. Because if I would have switched with Waver, what would have happened is that, um, Quetz would have taken every single crit star possible away from her. So I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, the buster up on the, the guts is very key to everything. Go here. Hit her with a stun just in case. Perfect. Then I'll go here. That should be enough to completely kill him. You got this, girl. Even the Sun Fortress cannot escape Cha Cha. Let me see how much damage she does overall. Should say right here. Wow. Okay, see, so I was right. Babbage. Damn you. Damn you, Babbage. I hate you so much. So chances are if I don't apply that defense down on, um... I have no idea what she's saying. If I don't apply that defense down on, um... Uh... 
mysterious heroine X, then she'll survive that the blast. Hmm. Fascinating. But yeah, that took a full that took every heart I had to take down Babbage. Damn you, Babbage. Why is Babbage like not a no, he's not a bad unit. He's not a great unit. But he's ten times worse as someone you fight against, and that's because he can spam his skills. When you have the ability to just do whatever the hell skill that comes to your mind, there we go. There's Solrock. Solrock, it's time for you to do your do your due diligence. I'm gonna need you to show you the full power of using three wolves, which is 300% attack raise up, combined with Chacha's already 100% attack up. It's 400% pure damage. I don't have to worry about um, much anymore. I don't have to apply the stun. That makes it so much easier for me. I can't wait for the update to the system, by the way. Getting real annoyed with all the, <laughs> the loading screens. There we go. We go here. Then boom, boom, boom. It honestly doesn't matter the other two cards you use, because he will always kill the first anything. Especially with, like, um, all these... <laughs> he broke a million on that. Uh, he can probably go higher, in all honesty. I just think it's funny to see a 1 million hit Stella. It's 100% because he's hitting three people at the same time. I've definitely made it go higher before. In the past. Doshi? Critical up. One and up. I should honestly just keep using these. Kaiyo, good. Chacha never wants to do her little fall for me. She gets camera shy apparently. Whenever I record anything with her, she never wants to do it. Fly, mama. Um, nice. Full on slap to the face. <laughs> oh, that was the Nobu making that noise. I was like, what the hell was that making that noise? That was the Nobu. Come on. Fatal battle. Look at that mini Nobu. Standing there. Yeah. Shouldn't do it. Alright. The Weaver. Still doing this just to be precautious about it. And also because I like using my loot to wife. Don't smash the. Hit him with that moochie moochie. I'm pretty sure I don't need that. Uh, I should be safe. And if not, then I was just a fool all along. But with 100% attack rate right up, I should 100% be able to clear this no issue. Without having to use one card in front of Babbage first. This should be an automatic KO from everyone. Oh no, if he got burned, that means he lived. You bitch. Well, now he's dead. Babbage! You glorious son of a bitch. That's the end of today's video, everyone. That's my grinding for this one specifically. Uh, you could probably replace Ishtar with any number of people, to be honest. As long as they have a 50% NP charge. <laughs> Which, to be fair, in NA, that's not a lot of people. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, Estelfo has that, I'm pretty sure. You could use Estelfo. It doesn't matter because they're Berserkers. So any, anything hurts them, to be honest. Uh, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you guys for murder... whatever it's called. What is that called? The Sherlock Holmes thing? Murder. Murder at Kogut's Soup Gun. Oh, so by the way. I ended up using all my tickets. I don't think I ever made a video explaining what I did with those tickets. I ended up using all my tickets. Now you're saying... Wookie, you must have should, may have been able to get one of those, um, one of those grind CEs. Nope. I was not able to get a 4-1. I was able to get my boy Hijikado to MP2, or as I call him, the Pickle Man. 
So Pickle Man is MP2. I don't think I'll ever use him out of good events, but it's fine. It's whatever. That's the end of today's video, everyone. Till next time. Goodbye.